Here at Juice Technology, we often like to boast that you can drive over Juice Booster 2 and be sure it will continue to work perfectly afterwards. But is that really true? It's time for the extreme test. Let's start slowly. Can the Juice Booster 2 withstand the weight of a toy tractor? Easy peasy. Let's turn it up a notch. What happens if we try a mountain bike? It still remains stable and charges as usual. The Tesla Model 3, the frozen stony ground, makes it even more challenging than the earlier tests. The sharp rocks are able to pierce the housing so much more easily, forming localized pressure points. Yet, the sturdy aluminum housing seems impervious. The standard requires the appliance to remain intact after experiencing a wheel load of at least 500 kilograms. This is more than the wheel load of a Model 3, so we need something heavier. The SAR 2DM truck comes in well above the standard as it weighs a hefty 12 tons. With the seat 3 meters off the ground, you could easily be forgiven for not seeing Juice Booster 2 when it's connected. This time, the rubber caps are forced off, but the housing held firm and there are no leaks. And the Juice Booster keeps on charging regardless. We definitely need more weight. Introducing the Leopard 1, weight 42 tons, the perfect test vehicle. Action! Can the Juice Booster really withstand something of this size, or will it be crushed to a pulp? Test equipment may be no more, but has the Juice Booster 2 survived the ultimate tank test? Yes, it has. Apart from a couple scratches, the housing is intact and there are no leaks. It's still charging, completely unperturbed. Proof indeed that Juice Booster 2 is stronger and safer than all the rest.